In this video, we're going to go over how to convert an object that takes battery power into using a, an AC adapter. That way you don't have to constantly buy batteries. This comes in super handy with uh, like Hot Wheels tracks and stuff like that that the kids use a lot. And uh, those batteries get expensive. So um, first you're going to need to count up your total DC voltage. In this case, it is four and a half volts because um, it takes 3D batteries at one and a half volts a piece. So um, I have a large collection of cords and AC adapters, so I just had to go through my collection until I found one that had the right kind of output. So on the back of all these adapters, it'll tell you what the output voltage is and the amperage. So this one is um, five volts. So we'll go ahead and plug it in to an extension cord right now and just double check that it's not putting out any uh, you know crazy numbers or something like that. Okay, do positive over here and negative. So we've got 5.2. That's good. That's within the range for this toy since it's just powering a light bulb. So once you figure out which one is your positive and which one is your negative, um, you need to go ahead and mark it in some way. You use a piece of electrical tape or whatever. Sometimes the wires themselves are marked. This one's not, so I just tied a knot on the negative. Um, the next thing you need to do is find out which of these poles um, is the final pole. So you'll have a positive and a negative, and one of them, or sorry, two of them will be your finals. You'll start at one end, all the voltage adds up, and you'll end at the other end. Cool. Get all this out of the way, and that's going to make a huge mess if we spill it. I should have poured those out. Okay. So let's see. It looks like a lot of this may just be held in with clips. We need to get to the back of this section here. And in this case, these two poles are starting our ending pole. This is our uh, battery last positive and our battery last negative. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can get into this. Some toys are going to be easier than others. Uh, some, like this light right, are not meant to be taken apart. No one ever really takes apart a light right. Here. Okay, so I can already tell that this is going to be our battery last uh, negative. So right here we have a very basic circuit board with a black wire coming down here. If you look at it, it goes down this direction, so we know that's our battery last negative. Then we have a red wire here that, if we look, has a small resistor on it and goes to this terminal, which is our battery last positive. All right, while our soldering iron is warming up, We'll go ahead and drill a, a hole here in the side of the toy. And we're just going to pick a spot that I think is a good place. Um, we'll just come in through the side here. The drill bit is not sharp at all. Drill the smallest hole that you can first and uh, make it wider later if you need to. So now I'm just feeding the wires in from the side here. I folded the negative one down so I could tell them apart. Once I get them in the toy here, okay, that's probably good enough. And then you can uh, tie a knot in this wire at the desired location. That way the cord can't be pulled out. Uh, you can also add some glue to keep it from uh, moving around and stuff like that. All right, so then we've got our positive and our negative lines in here. Go ahead and tie another knot in the negative. All right. You know what? Actually, for this one, what we're going to do is just 
probably could have left that wire in place and not cut it and just soldered to the to the board, but oh well. Too late for that. Okay, there we go. So we've got both of our connections made inside here. There's our negative and there's our positive. Now we'll see if we can get this original cover back on. It holds everything in place. We have to cut a little access window in the side here that wire sticking out there we go that'll work There we go. Ready for lots of fun and no more buying batteries. Nice clean look. And uh, yeah, there you go. Hopefully you guys can follow along and apply this to many toys and never buy batteries again. Thanks for watching.